A small community in Manchester has found a novel way of getting up to speed on the information superhighway. It means people living on an inner city estate can access computers cheaply and are apparently enjoying a new sense of community spirit. Dave Guest reports. A new age of information technology has finally dawned on the Bentley House estate in Hume. Around a third of homes here now have computers and it's all thanks to a pioneering scheme being run from this flat on the estate. Many of the people living here are on low incomes and we felt it very important that they not be excluded for the information revolution. So we were looking for a way that would be cost effective to connect them. So homes were linked together by a local system. It meant tenants could exchange news and information. They also had access to the outside world via the internet. They pay £3 each week to support the service. And they can buy computers for just £100 a time. Machines discarded by companies are recycled by local volunteers. It gives a new lease of life to the computers and it's given a new lease of life to people like Joni Carmichael who helps with the recycling. I was interested in finding out how to use the internet at first and then so I came down, started asking questions, got interested in everything that was going on here, asked would somebody show me how to do it and this is how it started. So it seemed like a great idea and it tied in nicely with the government's drive to try and make as many people as possible computer literate. But not everyone was impressed. Manchester City Council had serious concerns about the way the tenants had fixed up their wiring system. They felt it contravened safety regulations. When we were first alerted to the fact that dangerous cabling existed, we did act immediately to, to disconnect. Uh, we felt we had no option under the circumstances. But the tenants refused to give up their precious system. So now the two sides are working together. Our interest now is to find a way of uh, working with the residents to make sure that their network, which we fully support, uh, is made operable and safe. Tenants in other parts of the country are now looking at the possibility of establishing similar schemes. Dave Guest, North West Tonight, Hume. And if you grab a pen and paper, we'll give you details of their website at the end of the programme.